I hit the game winning, you ain't even see it. Welcome to the halftime show. I need a break from the game. God, thank you for the halftime show. All right, I'm serious when I say this. The wrestling community is so toxic, bro. It's so annoying. Any, no matter where you go on the internet, whether it's X, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Snapchat even, bro, uh, YouTube, um, Facebook, MySpace. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face with that one. But no matter where you go, bro, Wikipedia, it, no matter where you go, toxic. Our uh, wrestling fans are so toxic, bro. They literally started a, an entire trend saying, we want Cody. No, 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 no. We want Cody. We want Rocky, man. I'm not a Rocky fan. I don't like The Rock. <laughs> right? But I have been waiting for this match for, what, four years now? Five? Like, we've been wanting this match since uh, pre-COVID, bro. I don't want Co We had Cody last year. And I'm not saying... Cody shouldn't finish the story. That's not what I'm saying at all. If you want Cody as champ, fine. Uh, Cody can win the title next year. <laughs> Let it be The Rock this year. Let Roman destroy his cousin, The Rock, uh, and we can get Cody and a rematch. Uh, Cody and Roman in a rematch at next year's WrestleMania. Uh, I want Rocky, and I'm so sick. And listen, anyone on Twitter or X starting these. These silly trend what, hashtag we want Co shut up, y'all y'all people are so toxic. It's not even funny anymore, dude. You had Ricochet, the WWE superstar Ricochet, tweeting uh, or xing, <laughs> saying wrestling fans are so toxic because they are. If I'm the WWE right now, I'm not listening to anything you have to say because of how toxic you are, how annoying that is uh, or must be. Seeing that unfold uh, in front of your own eye, I, listen, as a fan, I'm watching it unfold, right? So I know it must be getting on everyone else's nerves that's in the company or, or that's, that's that's writing these stories, whatever, that's doing the writing for this, right? Whoever's idea it was, uh, I like it, right? I'm fine with The Rock versus Roman Reigns. That's what I, I want, The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. I don't want Cody. Well, it's not even that I don't want it. <laughs> But you're, you're asking me to pick between the two? Yeah, I want Rock and Roman. No doubt. No doubt. Give me Rock and Roman at WrestleMania 40. 100%. Easy. And I'm, I'm saying it just like that. You come up and ask me on the street, hey, do you want Roman Reigns to fight The Rock or Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 40? The Rock. Easy. Not even, not even thinking about it. Cody winning the championship next year is fine. Right? Because that lets uh, Roman Reigns beat his family, beat his cousin uh, in The Rock. Prove that he's the tribal chief, right? He's still the head of the table. Um, and that's another thing. This, the whole story with The Rock makes sense, right? It, and like I said, we've been waiting for this match for four or five years now. Um, and it's about time we get it. But what was I saying? Oh, uh, Roman Reigns, it lets him, you know, show that he's the head of the table by beating his, his cousin, right, in The Rock. Um, and then it also allows him to pass Hulk Hogan's reign, doesn't it? I could be wrong, but I think... Um, he would pass Hulk Hogan's title reign uh, before next year's WrestleMania, if I'm correct. And so, again, it makes perfect sense to have that happen. And then next year's WrestleMania, have him lose to Cody Rhodes. Listen, I, I know a lot of people out there don't want Roman to be champ for another year. There's just some things you got to get over, big dog. There's a, a whole other title in the WWE right now called the World Heavyweight Champion. That's who we don't... Seth Rollins is holding that title. That's who we want to lose the title, right? Not Roman. We want Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania 40. And we want Rock, uh, Roman Reigns to win. Excuse me. <laughs> um, and like I said, I never saw myself in this uh, predicament. And, and I never would have thought that I would be cheering on The Rock right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, not against Roman Reigns. Just against all you toxic, annoying wrestling fans who were... We want Cody. We want... You sound like a big baby. It's a... It, it's wrestling, bro. It's wrestling. You don't write the stories, okay? Sure, you can have an opinion. Do you have to send The Rock's daughter death threats because of it? That's so immature. That's so stupid. Um, dumb. At that point, that's not even being a fan. That's just being an idiot. <laughs> what? 
You're going to send the rock, his daughter death threats because he gets to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and the Cody Rhodes doesn't? I don't know, man. Y'all are, are weird, dude. Y'all are so weird. Grow up, man. It's wrestling. <laughs> A wrestling fan telling someone to grow up. Shut, shut up. It's ironic, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Grow up. Stop being stop being immature. Uh, we we want The Rock versus Roman Reigns. I don't care what you people. We want Cody. We want Cody. Shut up. Um, Seth Rollins can fa uh, face Cody at WrestleMania for the title. We'll let Cody win that title. And even if not, give Cody the title next year. I'm cool with that. And uh, I even said last year, I'm cool with him winning it this year. But I don't want him to have the match over The Rock. I've been waiting for so long for this Roman versus Rock. Give it to us. Give Cody next year. And stop crying. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate on this video, which is fine. Right? I knew that when I made it. But uh, y'all let me know what you think. All right, matter of fact, I already know what you think. We want Cody. Shut up, you big old baby. Big old baby.